Much can be said about the world today. Surely, it is not what it used to be. The world always dreamt about progress, and now that it has been achieved, or it's being achieved, we are always on the move, always busy. Everybody, man and woman, who eagerly enter the workforce find themselves forced to work constantly. With technology, work is no longer bound to the workplace, but wherever man can find a place to work. The business of this world has become that of busyness. Today, we celebrate the feast of St. Francis de Sales, whose spirituality stands <coughs> the test of time. Even 400 years after his death, 400 years which saw the great schism in the West of those who protest, contradicting our Lord's wish that they may be one as we are one. So with Christians no longer truly united, Satan caused even more division in Christendom, countless revolutions, two world wars, and we ourselves too, we have recently lived through very strange times. And we find ourselves today, here and now, celebrating St. Francis de Sales with his charming restfulness and his calm in the common sense. Providence has placed us here and now in this busy world. And despite being busier than ever, this is where our sanctification lies where our salvation takes place. It is here and now that God wants us to look for Him. Tempting as it may be, we must not long for a life of solitude in the desert. In praising St. Anthony of the desert, St. Francis had this to say. And in this desert, in this world, I want to remain alone with God while in the midst of men and all the business that surrounds me. And why should I be distracted by men when this saintly hermit, St. Anthony, was not distracted by whole legions of devils who attacked him while at prayer? It will be our fault if we do not become saints. St. Anthony sanctified himself in the midst of devils, so why cannot I sanctify myself among men, among Christians, and souls consecrated to God. We are to sanctify ourselves amidst the noise of the world, in the household as well. We are called to find God <coughs> precisely in the midst of the tasks and circumstances of day-to-day -day existence, ordinary life. It is here that we have to learn devotion learn to devote ourselves to God. Let us listen to our saint again. Let us all belong to God in the midst of so much busyness brought on by the diversity of worldly things. Where, where could we give better witness to our fidelity than in the midst of things going wrong? Solitude has its assaults the world has its busyness. In either place, we must be courageous, since in either place, divine help is available to those who trust in God and who humbly and gently beg for his fatherly assistance. Those who are familiar with the Holy Bishop of Geneva know of his favorite saying, Viva Jesus, live Jesus, or may Jesus live. This is what devotion is. We Christians must make Jesus live in this busy world of ours by bringing the fire and the flower of charity to everyone, devotion and gentleness. You catch more flies, says our gentle saint, with a spoonful of honey than with a barrel full of vinegar. And that a sa sad saint is a sorry saint. A sad saint is a sorry saint. 
The gentleman saint was wont to say that if there were other more excellent virtue than meekness, God would have taught it to us. But our Lord specifically asks us to imitate him in two virtues. Learn of me because I am meek and humble of heart. It takes a whole life to reproduce these virtues and God places many souls, many sinners around us to learn of them. Perhaps we are sad that our loved ones have distanced themselves from the church, from the faith. Perhaps it was due to our la lack of meekness and humility. Sometimes in our zeal for the salvation of other people, we forget that Christianity is something appealing in of itself. Christianity is something appealing. Christ does not really need us to defend his truth with words. St. Francis de Sales reminds us that truth must always be charitable for bitter zeal does harm instead of good. Truth must always be charitable for bitter zeal does harm instead of good. Mere words rarely, if ever, convert anybody. Our gentle saying says, a judicious silence is always better than a truth spoken without charity. So we must learn sometimes to not say anything. Remember that God places others around us for no other reason than to exercise our heart to love. So think about that. So when you have people who are difficult around you, or if you are difficult around people, it's for not for the sake of being difficult, but we are just the way we are, but it's to learn to, to love others, to learn to love others despite their difficulty, despite, despite them being difficult. You see, the Salesian spirit is very reasonable. God plants us in different places with diverse circumstances, and he knows what he's doing, and he plants us, you know, like priests in the church, religious in the monasteries and convents, in married couples in household, and he asks everyone to seek after him there, to look for God there where he places you. There we learn to deny ourselves and take up our cross and follow Christ. Nowhere else, by devoting ourselves to our duties and, while bear, and bearing good fruits of meekness and humility. We should not go around looking for crosses, looking for sufferings, where, when it is all there where God placed you. Viva Jesus! May Jesus live through our faithfulness, remaining in our humble place, and do what we are supposed to do, not more, not less. If everybody, if you or myself, if we do what we're supposed to do, then it is enough enough. We don't have to go looking up to do more or to do less. Do what you're supposed to do without add adding unnecessary things or without neglecting what you're supposed to do. We are asked to do our duty and do it well with love. That's all. And if ever we are tempted to look elsewhere, know that God always gives us sufficient grace to be able to excel in what we're supposed to do. And if we find ourselves sad, perhaps make an inquiry to the soul and see if it has truly emptied itself. At the end of the day, self-love must be spent. Self-love must be spent so that at the end of the day, you feel that you have given yourself. So if you feel that you have devoted yourself to something, and if you feel that you're not happy where God has placed you, perhaps ask yourself if you have given yourself and you, or, or you're just full of self-love. Because if you look to go to a different place, you know, escape your own reality, you always find yourself with you. You always find yourself with you. So you change the scenery, but you bring yourself everywhere you go. So we have to work on our soul first before looking around at things to fix. It is in this way that we are sanctified. Each one attains holiness simply by being the best version of himself all the time. You see how simple holiness is. 
and how difficult it can be. Simply being the best version of yourself all the time. Not easy. Sounds easy, but not easy. Yeah? With that, with what God provides. So, look at what God has given you and work with it and be the best version of yourself all the time. You see how universal and relevant St. Francis de Sales is because everybody um, can be the best version of themselves with God's help. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen.